Do you have any advice for other Michigan you know, cities or schools for how to do something like this? Um, in particular, I'm wondering about like rural areas, you know, where they don't have as much industry maybe to support it. Um, I don't know if you have any thoughts to share on that. Yeah, I think, and I'm sure that teachers, and, you know, as I recall as a teacher, all along you're thinking, what else can I find to add to kind of my tool belt to support my kids in being successful? My greatest piece of advice, I would think, if you don't have an opportunity to have a partner for community education, although from my perspective, you know, we have 13 schools that we partner with, but every school should be a community school. They really should. Every school, we should be providing as many kind of opportunities for families and kids that we can, because when the family's thriving, students are better off, right? They're better supported to be successful. But I would say if you're in a position, if you're in a rural setting or you're in a location where you feel like you don't have the support, I would get together with other teachers and identify your key priorities and then reach out to any of your local organizations. You know, so if in your school, the key priority is making sure that kids have all their basic needs met for um, maybe health and social emotional learning, I would sit down with maybe three or four teachers, share the workload, I would brainstorm together about what our priorities are. I'd keep it very attainable. I would not overwhelm myself, but I do it with a group of teachers and say, what's our first goal? And if our first goal is to make sure that our kids are connected to a primary care physician and that they have um, an insurance, some type of insurance program to make sure that that happens, that they stay connected, then I'd reach out to the local healthcare organizations and let them know this is our interest and what can you put together for us. The benefit we have in our organization is we have someone at each site, that community school director, who convenes all of those partners. And so as soon as a school, and one of the great things about our community school directors, um, and many of them have background in education or youth development or social work, but one of the great, fa- the, I would say the best characteristics that they possess is they're good listeners. They do not, our directors never walk into a school assuming that they know the needs and that they know what all the answers are. They go in, they do a needs assessment, they listen to find out what are the um, teachers noticing, what are staff members noticing, what are parents lifting as their needs, what are kids showing us, what are kids saying they want. Um, And so those directors really kind of are great listeners. And then they're also kind of great researchers, right? They look and find and seek those resources. If I did not have a community school director in my school, I would partner with some other teachers to share the workload, find out what our number one priority is, and then reach out and start asking questions um, to figure out how to best connect. And I have found in my experience, oftentimes there are organizations, businesses, nonprofits in every community who are very eager to partner with schools But because of the intensity of curriculum and standardized testing and kind of absolutely the transition that education has experienced in the last year, sometimes the staff at the school don't have a kind of a doorway for partners to come in and work with them. And so oftentimes it's a simple ask, you know, it's a reaching out to a local hospital and say, what can you provide for us? This is what we're seeing as a need. What do you have? Or reaching out to your local nonprofits to find out what they can offer, what they can provide. Um, In our experience, we've identified key partners for all of our components. So for after-school programming, we partner with YouthQuest, which is an after-school program. It's um, run by the Flint and Genesee Chamber of Commerce, and they do amazing after-school programs. We have a lead partner, and we bring more partners in to do more specialized activities, but we have a lead partner to facilitate that. We have a lead partner, Genesee Health Plan, that supports our community health workers in connecting families for resources. But again, I would partner with other teachers, identify our first priority, and then get aggressive about asking people, what can you bring to the table to help our kids? And I would go with the idea that the expectation is partners are ready to invest in our kids. I mean, that's our mindset.